this panel uh, has um, um, many goals. Um, of course, the, the title is very ambitious. It's the, the aesthetic of politics and the politics of aesthetic. Um, I would say the first goal is to, um, to visualize uh, also part of the discourse that has been developed uh, during the first panel. Um, this, this is very useful not only to give ourselves a more uh, powerful idea and an expression uh, on what uh, political discourses and movements and protests uh, have been and are, but also to see all the um, uh, interactions and exchanges uh, between uh, politics, between the, uh, the, the visualization of, of protest, and also, uh, uh, but also linked with the work of artists that have included uh, and worked upon um, those visual elements taken during the protest, and also how certain artists um, um, have been able to influence the aesthetic of protest. This is a, a very global discourse. Uh, last year, within a, an event of transitional dialogues in Rome, um, we had an intervention by a, a British curator, <coughs> Rachel Marsden, who spoke at length about uh, this topic in, in China, particularly concerning the Umbrella Revolution in Hong Kong. And it was really uh, uh, amazing, and, and it was really so strong to see how the, the yellow umbrella was kind of uh, the image of the yellow umbrella was uh, passing uh, from the streets to the computer screens and uh, from the computer screens to the streets we, with the mediation of artists that were either using it or reusing it uh, or also uh, the, 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 the rediscovery of, of the umbrella as an element of protest uh, which was actually predating the, 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 the protest uh, that happened in, in Hong Kong uh, last year. So uh, we, live, uh, we have a very, very extremely qualified panel um, and also uh, I know that uh, there is plenty of visual material to, to see, uh, which is going to be extremely, uh, extremely interesting.